from the industry mm-hmm. uh, of you know we are usually taught what we are taught right but typically about life life skills maybe we could have you know uh, done better <laughs> so so i thought okay yes. charity starts at home and let's let's go back and start speaking so so far so good yeah and it has been the, i have been i started in the year 2012 uh, you know that's yeah. when i yeah and then it has been a journey and it's a story in the making so it takes time nothing is easy <laughs> yes 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 that's, nothing is easy it takes a it takes hard work patience everything so yeah. yes yes good so what are the expectations from the session in fact uh, you know i just like to add on uh, that you know we uh, we tried having certain sessions in the past especially for self discovery that's very very important true sure. and what we realized is that these type of sessions we should be having like you know on on a very frequent basis yeah because absolutely. what happens is that you know uh, self discovery is a continuous process it's true. not limited to a day or two so right. when i actually went to you know the uh, this, the topic that you shared so i was actually mm-hmm. so i take care of students engagement basically mm-hmm. and okay. uh, everything on the campus related to students engagement has been taken care of by me so i was very quite nice. delighted that you know at least we are starting at a very good note so this sure. probably, so let's see <laughs> I'm sure good, they would good. be having uh, some good questions, and yeah. uh, we can have a session for like another one hour, or as you plan to do it, and then we can take yeah. up some more questions. Absolutely. So, yeah. Kudrat, what we are here to help me is uh, moderate the session, so you can uh, take all the questions and uh, no, we can not? do it. No, no, that's not yeah. a problem. And, In fact, and, one of my uh, placecoms, Kushbu, would uh, is here. She's an MBA placecom. Okay. Uh, so uh, you know she'll be taking up all the questions from uh, the students and probably either she or I can do it. That's not a problem. Great, great, great. Yeah. <laughs> so um, uh, what I was saying was, you know, uh, I did this with uh, School of Inspired Leadership. I have done this with uh, NIT University, okay. and then I did it for my alumni at IIT Kharagpur, and. Uh, um you know uh, the like in the process i learned a lot of how uh, you know it's 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 like you know i i'm i'm close i'm touching 50 and uh you know it, it's it's a big generation shift right so uh, yeah so it's almost like 22 20 years old right so it's a perspective <laughs> so you see both the perspective but some golden rule don't change yes they don't and yeah yeah so and i i love this discussion so right i keep yeah good just just give me i i and i just give me uh, for 30 seconds i will just go and pick up no problem. You know, no yeah, problem. just 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 a minute so uh, moderator ready hai na okay kushbu are you there good. yes ma'am uh-huh. okay 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 yeah i'm back yeah so uh, can we start the session this is already the, uh, just i think we can two. start the rest can join now uh, rest can join one by one actually because already 50 student has joined so yeah. we can start that thing actually i think kushbu you can take it ahead from here okay ma'am um good afternoon everyone and and your in the key life skill for being successful in personal as well as professional life to validate this fact today we have with us mr sasuko mitra to guide us on how we can achieve maximum efficiency mr mitra is a practitioner and a speaker on the subject self awareness and transformation building mental and physical endurance he is a silver medalist from iit kharagpur and an mba from xlri with 26 plus years of experience working for big companies BMU family extend a warm welcome to you sir so yes. thank you kushbu yes alipta you saying something no 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 uh, is, over to you sir then this is the session actually okay great uh, thank yes, you sir. so uh, thank you everybody uh, thanks for making time 
and uh, specifically first i want to thank uh, you know uh, the whole munjal family uh, i went through the website really an amazing group a uh, lot of institutions uh, i would like to thank dr uh, manoj aroda uh, and also mr shantanu dashgupta and alipta yourself because we were connected you know we worked for nagaro uh, i worked for nagaro he used to come down uh, uh, there and then he moved to bml munjal university and then we have kept in touch right yes, and sir. connections help right so uh, yes. <laughs> so that's <laughs> so uh, yes Uh, so uh, what i'm going to do is um, uh, sorry uh, yeah so what i'm going to do is uh, I, you know i have a um, you know it, it's a it's a story right everybody has a story so what i started doing was um, 2012 i started chronicling the story uh, in a logical fashion because storytelling is something which uh, which which penetrates which people appreciate which people understand and then trying to you know uh, some of the uh, key inputs that make or break a person right so good so what i'm so I, what i'll do is i'll just quickly share the presentation and let me know if uh, you know when you are able to see the uh, see the screen just a minute uh, yeah i'll just present now entire screen can you see the screen yes sir perfect yes, sir. good good so i you know i call it rise and shine uh, why because uh, we all can rise and shine like the sun and it was uh, that's 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 how i named it and uh, one liner can be journey of self awakening and transformation through realization of advaita vedanta philosophy and practice of endurance sports and ashtang yoga um, uh, uh, because um, you know as human beings we have been given what 70 80 maybe 100 years to live on this beautiful mother planet earth so uh, what is it all about right is it about studying is it about earning more money is it about uh, you know loving parents or is it just in enjoying life right we all have our definition right but as we are progressing through our life suddenly uh, we will be happy you know we will be happy at times very happy at times sometimes we will be very dejected sometimes we will start questioning and we all go through that phase right uh, and uh, i too went through the space but uh, you know i thought it would be good to chronicle this and since i started doing it and in the process i you know i myself uh, became better day and day day by day yeah so every so you know i just always have put that so every effort is made that the information in this uh, presentation is called correct and uh, 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 i hope uh, we are recording this session it will be good if it can be done yes sir yeah. yes yeah Yeah, yeah, good. So, so that you know, you can send me the link and I can archive it then. Good, yeah. So, um, but yes, you know, the the, the whole uh, journey is journey of change, and change is never uh, constant. And uh, yeah, and uh, so the objective is to realize the process of seeking and implementing those values and principles in daily life. so open to any kind of constructive input uh, end of the session um, so that you know this can get better and um, everybody has a mission in life and one of my mission is to uh, you know to uh, pass this message of um, uh, you know self understanding and awakening and one good approach is to approach all the schools and the you know colleges and speak to the students because they are the future of this country yeah uh so this was you know and i said i said right it's a story so uh, this is one instance uh so if you see the you know the child there uh, that is naman 
and that when uh, you know naman is a four year old it was in 2018 four year old he is a deaf deaf and blind child so um, you know uh, i i used to visit uh, blind schools but never had you know such a close interaction so what happened there that day was that i went and i kind of you know met him and i kind of hugged him and suddenly you know that realization hit me that you know that i have all the five senses you know i can see i can smell i can taste right uh, i can hear and he being deaf and blind he can't either see or hear right and if you dig a little bit 95% of our learning happens through uh, seeing and hearing and when i hugged him he was smiling at me and i was so overwhelmed i said wow this guy is smiling because it's one of the very strong senses they have they have is the sense of touch so when i touched him uh, you know he was he said you know somebody is really trying to love me and cuddle right and that that moment was a moment of transformation i felt so blessed that wow you know uh, that you know i have five senses that itself is a gift for me in my life why should i regret right so you know can i make a change to this world can i change myself right uh, so and then i put that post up in linkedin and to my surprise in 19 hours uh, this post had 11000 views Uh, and 164 likes and seven comments so and then lot of people commented here right so two learnings here first is if when you're kind when you are of a giving attitude when you are sharing love everybody appreciates everybody appreciates uh, it it becomes a boundaryless behavior right and uh, try that sometime and you can you know linkedin and facebook is an amazing medium uh, do that and one of the requests i have uh, for all those who have joined is to connect with me and uh, in this virtual world i think the biggest asset that we can build on this virtual platform is relationship whether it is jobs whether it is growing whether it is help you know uh, it is an amazing platform so that's one of the first learnings um so you know uh, this this became one of the most loved posts on fb on facebook you know it was loved uh, uh you know 2500 times and then uh, i i love this one line of from mark twain that kindness is a language that deaf can hear and blind can see which is so true that you can actually break barriers showering love showering kindness uh, anybody you know be it your boss be it your subordinate be it your life partner and it's transformational right so shower kindness shower love yeah that's that's very very important uh, again there i met one person his zameer dali is he's called the helen keller of india and they have uh, uh, it madras has designed a small device where you can send a text uh, you know even send a text message through this braille machine and he is able to do that so he he communicated with me again an inspirational story and very very happy and satisfied right looking at them i realized you know why should i be sad for i can see look at the blue sky i can smell beautiful flowers i can hear the good things right uh, because they don't have that choice right since they have they are they they are not able to see and hear they completely shut right so they are very very beautiful inside in general so whatever they can see is only through sense of touch right whatever they can feel right the sense of touch so they are very very pure as such so the moment you shower any little bit of happiness in any way they become extremely happy and ecstatic you can try that actually and it's it's amazing yeah then uh, you know 25 years um, uh, we all went back to iit khadakpur and we took this picture and, and uh, you know uh, the 
tower of Adi Kharagpur, there is one liner written dedicated to the service of the nation, and we gave back to the university. This post also generated 11,651 views in six days. Right. So one thing that was always coming up is give back, give back, give back. You know, be kind, give back, and see how bountiful the life becomes. Right. Yeah. So I kept doing this. Uh, I've been doing this for the last uh, seven years, yeah, since 2012, eight years, nine years now. So in the process, you can you can you know you can Google social selling index, and you can see your score. So just go to. You know, you can do that right now. So I'll just show you quickly. So you can you can just say social selling index, right? And the second link here. I hope you are able to see my screen, right? When I'm doing this. Yes, sir. Yeah, and then get your score for free, right? So I can just click. You can click yours. Right now, it is a little bit less because my activity went down. Yeah, I'm still at 78%. So I'm at top industry rank of SSI 1% and top network rank of uh, 1%. And uh, you can see, you know, building relationships, I've got 25 or 25. I have to still improve, engage with insights, finding the right people. Right. So if I, if I show my LinkedIn profile, My network, right? How many people? I just need a raise of hands. How many people have more than thousand connects? Quickly. Uh, can somebody help me with that number? I've got twelve thousand four hundred connects. It took takes time. Right. So. Just let me know whenever you have that number. Yeah. So how it helps is that um, I'm sure you know after this, uh, you know, engineering MBA, um, this graduation, or after your masters, you will be seeking a role. Either you'll get into sales or business development or marketing or business analytics, right? And this spe specifically, if you're into sales and front front end job, you have to be very outward looking and focused and the ability to connect with people. So you can either connect with people through mind or you can connect with people through heart. And the connection through heart is always a better connection. So, and it takes time to build that connection. So any, any, and I realized that late. So any, any successful sales guy or business development guy will surely, surely always be successful if he has better heart connections because, you know, if there's an RFP or an RFQ going on and, you know, final, final decisions are to be made. And if the guy who takes the decision really knows you well, he will say, "Yeah, I trust him more. So let me let him give me the give him the business, right?" It's it, everything would be the same, but he would still be inclined with something where he's more comfortable with. Right? And that's how you win big deals. That's how you grow, and you always grow as a team. So if you become a team manager someday, or if you become you know a CEO of a company, you will be only more powerful if you have a very empowered team, and the journey starts with you. Good. So, uh, and you know, everything has a purpose. So this purpose was uh, that you know, my IIT KG friend Nilanko Majumdar. He's no more. He died in 2012. And IIT IM, and then he lost way in between. You know, he just became uh, very non-focused on life, not very happy with life or what he achieved, and he just you know self-destructed himself. Very very unfortunate. 2012. On the other side, you know, on the right side, that's my sister, Shashwati Kollam, and then another of my colleague from IIT Kadakonur, Radha Acharya, you know. So she she's the CEO of uh, a company uh, called, uh, you know, Bio Solutions and Map My Genome. So she's a CEO, and my sister, she's a TCS CTO. And suddenly you start wondering, you know, I was brilliant, I was so nice, I was so good, you know, I, uh, I was good in mathematics and science, and uh, you know, uh, I was analytically good. Why didn't I succeed? Right? It's a combination of how good 
are you a left brain thinker and a right brain thinker it is not just sufficient to be a more analytically uh, good or more uh, i would say that is needed sure right but you also have to be a very very uh, very very intelligent person or a very socially relevant person or very having a very high level of emotional quotient and typically you will see uh, you know women becoming better leaders on the long run because they become mothers right because they their emotional quotient is very very high they can understand feelings and emotions right and human beings are a bunch of human, human feelings and emotions right and if you are able to capture that and understand that you can only become better leaders and of course there needs to be patience right like this journey 2012 9 years you know we all want to succeed right it doesn't happen so you have to be at it right there is a goal it's like um there's a desired goal you want to reach versus um uh, versus you know the, your present state you will not reach there one day so what you can do is you have to take the right you have to do the right task you have to take the right steps you have to follow the right process that is in your hands the goal will come but you have to be at it like the 10000 hour rule so you have to build a lot of physical and mental endurance endurance to get there yeah so yeah so so just to you know reflect again that you have to have the gratitude of being alive and to you have to lead a very purposeful life so when you get up in the morning you have to say wow i am alive i am happy you know surely i can make a difference today right so god has given you the gift of 86400 seconds today have you used one to say thank you when we realize how we spend our time time management resource management energy management of self you say wow you know i could have done so much better and if you really do well and if you really do great actions you know of course we have our emotions and feelings but if we keep our emotions and feelings at side at the bay and then we just do the right actions you know i can tell you you can really sleep well in the night so he is a wise man who does not grieve for things which he has not but rejoices with what he has yeah so all these sayings are there but it is to live these values that makes a difference so um uh, it was you know again okay, that's when it started right so i i became obese i became fat my lifestyle you know it, i was touching 40 uh, all the medical proof reports were out out of whack right i had to really take a responsibility of myself and so say that now i will fix myself first right and from there i became a ultra runner i became a marathon runner i became a swimmer and i'm able to manage my weight so i had to fix my outer constitution right a strong mind resides in a strong body right so please do not uh break yourself physically have those right habits which will make you strong because then you can walk confidently you can be a great leader and you can look up to yourself in the mirror and say wow that's like it right and that's where you start getting the energy in life to do something good and once you start doing that it starts reflecting on your family right So that was my wife uh, seema when she gave birth to my child she was i i was 42 she was 41 in 2014 and since i transformed she transformed so what it says here is change begins with yourself right you have to change first we expect others to change it won't happen you have to be the change right so my child emmanuel he was born in 2014 first jan so i said okay let's celebrate life right so i made her walk she was 85 kg 85 kg she i made her walk 5k and then every year i used to go back in pinkathon and you could see how she shrunk and my child grew and that's a part of the journey and i captured it so it's a story it's not important for anybody right it's just on the story but when i reflect back when i sit with my family and then share this it's a wonderful story right and it then the journey continues we could not do last year this run because of covid 
but I'm going to capture this journey for my life. Then we became, you know, brand ambassador for Sense International. So when I ran, I ran for Sense International India. And running for marathon builds endurance. Good. So I'll take a pause. Uh, so what I'll do is, uh, you know, once we are on this journey, we will have all these questions like, what, where are we born? What is the Ikigai or Purushartha of life? How to achieve a status of Satchitananda, bliss? You know, what is that fourth element? What is the difference between you? So we have all these questions. So what I would re request uh, the moderator is to collect all these questions and uh, send it to her. And then maybe at 10 minutes, uh, or 15 minutes down the line, we can again take a pause and uh, you know collate that. And then we can start again. Does that sound OK? Or uh, do you want me to continue? Whatever you say. Whatever you feel like, sir. If you want to take a pause, we'll take a pause, sir. Yeah, so let me know. Uh, do, do people have questions now? None as of now, sir. No, no, that's enough. Okay, let's continue. Perfect. So you know, I've that happened to me, right? You know, I, you know, you, 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 you come back in the evening, you start reflecting, right? What is it? What am I doing? So some of the truth. So for the first truth, you'll see is when you're a child, you will have a lot of time and a lot of energy, but very little money, right? And as you're in your teens and middle age, you'll have no time we'll be busy with many things right good money and uh, good energy but as we start aging you know this whole energy will start failing right so when you are really really wanting to enjoy right that all the money and the success your your, your body will start failing right so and we take life for granted so please you know do not compromise on your health do not compromise on your well-being Work on your mental endurance, work on your physical endurance, eat right, sleep right. And then you can really see, you know, you can travel around the world 50, 60, 70, you can be inspirational. But it doesn't happen one day. It's a lifestyle change that you have to go through. Right. And I would say, blessed are those people, those who get that calling are in and are able to fix it. So, yeah, you know, this is there's a diagram I made. You know, there's like a bell, 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 uh, bell curve. We all are familiar ab about it. Those who love statistics will love it, right? So on the x-axis is physical strength. On the y-axis is age. So physical strength will gradually grow. You know, it will peak you know, at the middle, and then it, it'll just you know die down, right? Slowly, the journey towards death, right? And that's where we call the midlife crisis, right? That you want so many things, but your health is not supporting, right? And then by our, uh, yeah, um, our Indian philosophy, Indian uh, ideology is amazing, right? So they, they divided life into four beautiful parts. It's the Brahmacharya, where it's the student life, a Grihastha, which is the householder, Vanapastha, which is the retired, and Sanyasa, which is renunciation, right? Very beautifully defined. So, uh, so, and in the process, our emotions will keep fluctuating, right? So the art is really to, uh, because you, your strength will you'll peak, it will go down, right? But what is really in your control is to control these emotions, these peaks and trough, and really lead a very life with very high level of mental equanimity. Yeah. Um, another insightful thing, just Google, right? Which are the top most videos on um, YouTube of all time? And you will see in the top video, and when I Googled at that point of time, it was Despacito. It was, you know, the song by Louis Fonsi. It had some 5 billion views, right? Masha and the Bear, uh, it has some 3 billion views, right? Uh, then Ed of A Shape of You by Ed Sheeran, that has 6.6 .6 million views, right? The best of Sunny Leone songs, you know, it has got some 11 million views, some maybe more now. Um, but whereas the Bhagavad Gita, right? Mm, it has only 22,000 views. Nobody wants to. Nobody. <laughs> Uh, uh, nobody wants to, uh, 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 if it's in the scriptures, right? It's boring, they would say, right? It, it's not interesting, right? So we are fundamentally sensual people. Sensual means we are driven by our senses. 
what is pleasing to our eyes which is pleasing to our ears what is pleasing you know to well, you know what we love to eat right drink you know we are driven by that right and which is not bad that's how we are right but we have to realize that that you know where there is pleasure where there is fun if you do it too much it is also going to have an impact so the art is to have a control right mental control physical control and sustain it for as long as possible right. okay <clears throat> the another one uh, which is financial security so if you see here top 1% of the indian population owns 51.5% of the wealth and top 10% have 77% of the national wealth and you know students like us passing from good universities eventually when we do a job we will fall in that top 1 5 10% you see the remaining 60% of the people just have 4.8% of the wealth so two things again try to be wealth creators i love the journey of wealth creation so read about warren buffet understand equity markets understand the law of compounding not understand understand you know the equity markets understand stocks invest in them from the beginning the law of compounding the law of compounding is the most powerful equation you know that's what einstein also said right that and I, i'll show you that formula how money grows start doing that be financially free but having earned that kind of money give back be the next azim prem ji be the next narayan murthy right open great schools give great education you know bhiman mujalik universities a living example right they have so many business houses why do they open schools because finally you know we have if we have to grow this country you know good education good health care is something which every child has right to right so you have to create wealth and you have to distribute wealth and show people how to create wealth okay so i'll take a pause again any questions now yes sir we have one question in the chat box yes uh, it says so won't that heart connection will make you weak no give me an example uh, who is it he can come on phone can you just yeah the heart to heart conversation will help oh lakshya is hi sir i'm here good afternoon yeah hi lakshya let me just uh, because like when you were discussing that we should be connecting hold, with hold, hold, on, hold on hold on hold on hold on okay. let me let me let me uh, let me just come back see your face it helps hold on you know a heart to heart connection is always better where is it gone now hello Yes, I want to see your face, Lakshay. Come on. Yes, that's better. <laughs> okay, good. See, that's why that's why I made the connect. It didn't me. It didn't make me feel weak. It made me a better person. Now I can put a name to the face. Now ask me the question, please. Sir, I like when you were discussing that you should be connecting with people with heart. So right. won't it make us weak? Like, for example, in business, what if they are manipulating us? it doesn't happen that way see uh when you start understanding yourself lakshay right that how you are made let's say lakshay right um, say how you are made you are at five levels i'll come to that how you are five levels the four, outer level is the skin and the bones right the skin and the flesh and the bones that is called the annamaya kosh that is made with what by the food you eat annamaya kosh it is anna food maya is illusion and kosha is a sheath right that is the first level everybody is made that way correct but i am made that way correct under that is the manamaya kosh right that's your mind system correct you have a mind i have a mind correct under that is the energy system your breathing system which is the pranamaya kosh right that when i'm breathing right that it gets finer right under that is the intelligent system which is the which is called the gyanamaya kosh you have an intelligent systems i have an intelligent system correct and under that is called the anandamaya kosh which is the happiness system okay why i am able to say this because i understand myself better so i understand you right so it it is not that people will not try to cut you 
but when you are you when you understand yourself so well you will be able to understand the other person very well right they say that they said they say that keep your friends closer keep your enemies much more closer much more closer so make your enemies your friends so that they don't know they don't know so you have to be a very keen listener right you have got two ears and two eyes but only one mouth when you understand somebody is trying to cut you you just shut your mouth keep them very very close very very close to yourself and then you do it right because see life is if you do good good will good things will happen to you right why somebody takes a decision against you like that because he is not feeling good that you are successful correct he is not feeling good that you are successful there's a there's a feeling of jealousy and negativity and whatever you do not have any control on that you do not have any control on that right when you hit the corporate life there will be politics you have to understand that the politics is is being played but if you're playing the game of politics you are hurting yourself and i will show you why because when you play the politics you are in that same game of dirt you know the, the dirt right and the human body understands good and bad good feelings and bad feelings that's it when you play good feelings good hormones will get generated when you when you do bad things bad hormones will get generated stress will get generated and the moment stress is generated there is a hormone called cortisol that gets generated it leads to hypertension and all the other lifestyle diseases people don't realize that people do not realize that and the other person is intelligent right somebody has come with a bad intent to hurt you right but you are not hurting you are accepting him you are accepting him the way he is he is also intelligent right he will start understanding yaar isne to hurt nahi kiya yaar isne to hurt nahi kiya ye to alag tha right and then he will start changing if he doesn't change then avoid not everybody will change and you, sh you shouldn't try to change anybody right change yourself and move on that journey it wasn't easy for sachin tendulkar to become sachin tendulkar it didn't become easy for virat kohli to be virat kohli not easy you know to make it in the top 11 in those you know among thousands of cricket players is not easy right but you have to be at it but you have to play the game the game the way it has to be played when you play it rightly then only you will win you have to play it in a process oriented manner with that precision and with that heart because agar aapko gussa aa gaya us moment pe right agar aap angry ho gaye right you have lost him because wo bolega isko to gussa aa gaya you have lost him he will not open up you want the person to open up you want the person to open up that's it yeah did i answer your question yes sir fine so it was Good. very motivating to No, no, absolutely. Hence, I connected because see, if I if I didn't see your reaction, right? If I just looked at you blank on the screen, I wouldn't have known your body language. What I'm seeing is I'm seeing your body language. Whether you are agreeing with me or you are not agreeing with me, am I able to convince you? Right? That's what I'm looking at. Right? When you when I'm in a Zoom call, when I'm you know closing deals worth millions of dollars, I'm looking at all the body languages of the people on the phone. I say, put on the you know given a choice uh, because of the bandwidth i will say put on the you know uh, camera for everybody i want to see uh, you know whether everybody is attentive or not right because the heart and mind has to be there yeah apps the connect the connect the connect the connect absolutely yeah any more questions did i answer you lakshya yes sir yes sir good okay good good any more questions no sir good perfect so now let's get back so we've got one question yeah please any uh, one more question you said yes sir now uh, what question please yeah tell me what in your opinion attract or grab public attention is that the right thing going and what is correct way of thinking sorry please tell again what is your opinion what in your opinion attract or grabs public attention is that mm -hmm. the right thing going and what is correct way of thinking correct way of thinking okay who asked the question chandrakant chandrakant can you please come 
online and you know put on the camera please chandrakant you there hi chandrakant how are you today you look wonderful you got a hi, bright sir. face Fine. thank you you, sir. you 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 have a bright face you look good thank you sir <laughs> you see i grabbed your attention <laughs> yes so that's what it is right uh how do you grab attention right see the inside it's called i right i ahankar aham aham matlab i right jab us aham ko aapne aakar de diya to wo ahankar ban gaya correct chandrakant ek aap chandrakant ho koi puchega aap kya ho right bolega main chandrakant hu mere pitaji ka naam ye hai mere mata ji ka naam ye hai main is school mein padhta tha राइट अब यहां पढ़ाई कर रहा हूं मैं ये बनना चाहता हूं तो अब मैं 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 बोले जा रहे हो राइट विच इज गुड करेक्ट द अदर पर्सन इज कमिंग इन तुमने पहले शुरू में कर दिया मैं 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 बोलना शुरू कर दिया वो बंदा वैसे डिप्रेस हो गया यू हैव टू स्टार्ट द कन्वर्सेशन द अदर वे इफ यू हैव टू ग्रैव अटेंशन यू हैव टू सीक हिज अटेंशन यू हैव टू डिजोल्व योर आई you have to dissolve your i so the moment you have to hear, you have to get his eyes and ears focused towards you right once the only way you can do that is when you make him important or her important that is the way to seek attention and of course you have to dress beautifully so you have to look good you have to you know have a beautiful perfume you have to dress well you have to groom well you have to talk well you have to behave well khane apne hi pasand ki hai par pehna dusron ki pasand ka hai right kyunki bahut matter karta hai so that was the first question right that how do i can you please repeat the question so did i answer the first question yes sir uh, and what is the correct way of thinking ah uh, correct way of thinking right that's a good question so let me first think hmm correct way of thinking from what perspective it's a broad question sir should what be is, uh, what is the problem statement of yours sir there are many situations where uh, we need to be ethical but the public don't act so uh, good so in what way should be the uh, uh, the action to be taken or the yes good so um i can give you an example okay my example okay uh i immigrated to canada in uh, 2001 like everybody i wanted to go off to the you know us and canada i landed in toronto it was a cold wintry morning and uh, when i was leaving the shores there was brightness my parents eyes ki beta us ja raha hai duniya ko bol sakte hain beta us ja raha hai canada ja raha hai bahut khush the taaliyan hui taaliyan baji mithaiyan bati bahut badhiya laga everything was good right but when they were leaving me at the airport i could see tears in their eyes they were not expressing but they had tears in their eyes right by mind it was a good decision ki बेटा जा रहा है बाहर अच्छा करेगा और अच्छा करेगा बट दिल नहीं मान रहा था दिल नहीं मान रहा था वेन आई लैंडेड देर एंड आई तब तो मोबाइल फोन नहीं हुआ करते थे यू हैड दो बूथ मशीन एंड यू कुट कॉइन्स इन द मशीन राइट एंड आई पुट ऑलमोस्ट आई थिंक सिक्स सेवन डॉलर एंड यू नो एवरी ट्वेंटी फाइव सेंट्स यू हैव टू पुट ट्वेंटी फाइव सेंट्स की पुटिंग ट्वेंटी फाइव सेंट्स बिकॉज छोटा सा पॉकेट था उसमें ट्वेंटी फाइव सेंट्स जाते थे and then i realized did i do the right decision you know should i should i followed my mind or should i followed my heart right and then again god willing you know i followed my heart because i did not want to leave lead my life with regrets in 3 months i came back to this country again i took up another job and trust me it paid back you know this year was my parents 50th marriage anniversary and my sister she is in the us and she could not make it due to covid 
but i celebrated parents 50th marriage anniversary with my child and with my wife and it was a fantastic celebration very private celebration fantastic celebration i had to wait for these moments you know 2001 2020 almost 19 years to take this decision right see wo uh, sharukh khan ki apne movie dekhi hogi na ki hamesha aap raste mein do raste mein hote hain ek to ek to aasan raasta hota hai aur ek thoda sa difficult raasta hota hai jo difficult raasta hota hai wo thoda sa process oriented hota hai thoda sa mushkil hota hai correct so if you are a bodybuilder or if you go to the gym sculpting a body is not easy you have to eat right you have to get up in the morning you have to exercise right with the but the sweetness you get when you look at yourself in the mirror when people look at you they say wow right arnold schwarzenegger dwayne johnson you know george uh, you know all the great uh, you know uh, great movie actors actresses those who have made great they made it the right way and it was never 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 easy see ethical is a parameter which you are deciding what is right or wrong correct but there are some universal principles that i will not lie to somebody i will look straight and talk i will not lie to myself right whether to eat a samosa or not is my choice right those decisions you have to take those ethical standards are yours but finally the impact is also yours you have to understand that see the law of karma is that right the world is like a karma cafe you will get what you you will get what you deserve right if you don't exercise your body will give away if you eat too much fatty food you will have cholesterol issues if you eat too much sweet you will have diabetes right so people say that nahi matlab without being ethical you will manage you cannot manage impossible 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 ha shortcut ho jayega for some time he will there will be a small success but because then what will he that will become his behavior right he will say that oh that's how i will always win but that's not the correct way that's not the correct way there is only one correct way that being on the line following the process right but ye jo main keh raha hu tab bhi kafi log follow karenge kafi log nahi karenge follow like when we when we sit at the airplane right the year of stress keeps saying please don't get up from the seat till the year calf comes to a stop please don't open the overhead bins till the year calf comes to a stop right but people still get up jaise flight land hui sab uthke khade ho gaye and why i don't understand the plane is not leaving us the baggage is not coming early but it is a behavior jaldi karna hai jaldi karna hai I have to be the first. वो behavior बन जाता है एक. But you have to cultivate that behavior. और क्या होता है ना कि people are watching you, right? हम expect करते हैं कि दूर करेगा और हम वही चीज करते हैं जो हमें नहीं करना चाहिए, right? So the change has to start from you. Did I answer your question? Yes, sir. Thank you. It's 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 a tough it's a tough part. It is a big ask. but trust me today when i am able to speak with this level of confidence that i have chronicled the story the story was not easy and it builds up it takes time to build it doesn't happen one day it is the story of the chinese bamboo right the chinese bamboo is under the soil for 7 years and on the 8th year it grows 40 feet it is not that the chinese bamboo didn't was not growing it was preparing itself to grow that's how it is Yeah. Thank you so much sir. Thank you. Any more questions? No sir. Good. So I'll go back to the uh so let me know the presentation. Can you see my presentation? Yeah? Yes sir. So you see here, this is another. What is the probability of a human life? The probability of human life is six point two six into ten to the power of twelve. कहते हैं ना चौरासी लाख योनियाँ होती हैं, eight point four million species. So there are point nine million types of aquatic animals. 
3 million types of animals 2 million types of trees 1 million types of birds 1.1 million types of insects also humans for you know, there are the caucasians the asians the chinese the mongolians you know, different genes right so if you calculate based on that there are 7 billion 7.6 billion people on earth that is the probability of one life so you know each of us that's a probability we have got so the very fact that we are born as a human being and we are the most evolved form of life among all because we have emotions we have feeling we can think right some species might be good at something but they are just good at that they are not overall good right so we have got the power to think to be aware both you know buddha we can be the buddha each of us can be a buddha right both live with awareness so another take away from this is preserve mother nature for the next generation don't destroy live with the will in your means don't be greedy there is sufficient mother earth has provided we are just visitors on this planet earth travel the world spread love yes you have to have money but don't be just blinded right and then see how nature helps you grow right so that's our size extension right from the size perspective proton is 10 to the power of minus 15 if i say human human is 1 right the observable universe is 10 to the power of 27 we are very 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 small but we are a part of that whole cosmos you have to understand that bit we are part of that whole cosmos so live with the nature and the neural structure of the brain is similar to the neural structure of the universe einstein could use only 2% of the brain we do really don't utilize our intelligence pretty well uh, and computers and calculators and all these machines is not helping it grow either we are leading leaving everything to the computer to do it our memory is failing you have to use it you have to polish it and what you don't use you lose it yeah so this is just to say that you know we say the english time our ancestors in india also defined time with yuga and everything so you see here one brahma one kalpa manvantara chatur yuga so they defined all the way up to one atom all the way so one atom uh, one one uh, one second is shana which is three nimesha right base unit anu is two parmanu so many microseconds so they defined it so they had a scale all the way from 10 to the power of minus 7 to 10 to the power of 22 so what i'm trying to say here is we were equally evolved so it is not that the western world knows everything no we had a language which was incidentally you know written in devanagari script and it's in sanskrit and we are losing it we think you know, the world knows everything we know sufficient but we have to take time to dig into our past and understand you know what the sages tried to write unfortunately it's in sanskrit and we don't study sanskrit which is unfortunate it's a very very powerful language yeah so if you have the time and the energy you know please please do that search it's it's worth i'm on the journey okay so this was kali yuga kali yuga it was defined by aryabhata so it was actually started 3102 bc so one kali yuga is so many years so it's all defined so i, I can share this presentation and you can go through it later so uh, i'll try to rush a little bit because we are you know 7 minutes to 5 and it ends at 5:30 so i'll try to finish the remaining bit in the next 20 minutes and then i'll be ready to take questions and uh, yeah i i we can you know come back again later and then if there are more doubts we can, i can address those doubts but let's proceed yeah so what is the purusharth of life the purusharth of life is um, you know purush hone ka arth purush ka matlab ye nahi ki man no purush matlab hamare andar jo ish hai that god or that energy that is there right uska hone ka arth the pursuit the human pursuit the meaning the objective so it has been very rightly defined in our scriptures as you know you should have the right desire the right wealth the right conduct and the right exit so it is kama artha dharma and moksha right right desire is what that you have to be sensual you have to really satisfy all your senses right it is very difficult to be a yogi that i will not do this i will not do this but it doesn't happen right so you have to eat you have to you know have your fun you have to have your 
you have to see beautiful thing you know you have to get married you have to have a family right so but you it has to be right right that and that decision of what is right you have to take that right you have to have the right wealth of course you have to generate right wealth and one of the ways to generate right wealth is right investing right so invest in the stock market invest in the mm, you know uh, real estate market understand how economy works uh, start uh, you know focusing on that and create wealth for yourself once you create wealth for yourself you can create wealth for others right so we wealth creators so right wealth right dharma dharma is coming from the world called dhri which means your reason to be right so you play many roles like you know i'm playing the role of a father a son a husband uh, you know a social being right i have got some some responsibility towards everybody else dharma is not you know the religion thing it is your basis to be so are you fulfilling all those duties as an individual towards everybody right and then the right exit that you literally don't own anything right whatever you created is you 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 got it from mother earth you give it back to mother earth so the tendency to give back right and that is the way to live right and it has been very purely defined right so this is the balance score card we need not look outside right and if you just try to follow this four quadrant and start re reflecting that you know am i doing the right things in all quadrant you will see a much more holistic and effortful life right so the thirst to be boundary boundless is not created by you it is life longing for itself you know i love sadguru also he speaks quite well so i just picked it up from there so one way to check that is a reason to jump out of bed every day morning so the moment you jump out of bed you say wow it's early morning you know i have the day to my hand i have this resource how can i utilize it jump out of the bed in the morning then you have that you know you're leading each day with that right purusharth now this is defined in the western world You know, again, coming from Japanese, it's called ikigai, right? There's a nice book on ikigai. So it says, when passion, mission, profession, and vocation they all meet, and that's your center core. So satisfaction, but so if you are just following passion, something else is missing. If you're just following mission, something is missing else, right? So when everything comes in the center, that what you love to do, what the world needs, what are you good at, and what you can be paid for, and everything comes together. that's it you guys so if we all have to define what is a kikai what we love what the world needs what i am really good at you know somebody can be a great statistician somebody can be a great chemist somebody can be a great cook somebody can be a great housewife or a houseman whatever you know what we are good at and then finally what we are paid for you have to be also be conscious of i might be good at something but will i be paid for it so be rational right just don't get too emotional ki nahi yaar i will only do then but then then you will not have money you will somebody is you know happy to play guitar but then if you are not able to commercialize the whole concept of playing guitar then you'll 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 be a poor guitarist that's a fact right so you have to struggle and you have to associate with a band and go and play in the band like the beatles right they played at you know for 8 years before they became beatles so you have to be rational emotional you have to work with your heart and mind both right both has to work together Okay, so the pancha kosha that I talked about, right? That you have the anna maya kosha, which is the outer body, and then you have the pran maya kosha, which is the energy body. Then the mana maya kosha, which is your emotion, feelings, dislikes, and fears and phobias. Then the vigyan maya kosha, which is your intelligence system, and finally the unhappiness system, right? So that's everybody. That's the way it has been defined, right? So anna maya kosha, what means that your cells tissue? So you have to eat right, sleep right, exercise right, right? the pranamaya kosha which is your nadis and chakras when you sit down and do pranayam all the you know lom vilom and prastika and you know suryam surya bhedi pranayam and all the pranayam it, it it just energizes that system if you, if you do not energize the pranic system you know that will go down right so you have to you have to balance yourself at every level you know am i eating right am i doing pranayam am i really taking care of my emotions and feelings and likes and phobias you have to work on your fears right then you will you will be fearless if you if you do not work on your fears you'll never be fearless right you have to work on your fears and phobias and dislikes and you have to win that game right and of course you have to uh, you know how you have to use your intelligence the right way yeah that's where the inner conscience inner voice value system belief system intellect that comes in right intellect just is not sufficient is it driven by the right value system the right conscience that is key and then only you'll get get bliss and that's this whole thing has to be in unison the moment there is a block somewhere you will you will not feel blissful you will somehow feel nahi yaar maza nahi aaya this whole system has to be in unity but does it make sense
am i audible hello yes hello? sir you are audible yes sir okay. you are audible okay okay no no that's good no because uh, you know if it's a one on one presentation with a uh, that's 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 one thing i you know sometimes uh, miss uh, when i'm there yeah with the audience so is it visible again yes sir it's visible okay good yeah so that's a panch kosha so so you will you will hit that bliss the center when you take care of this all the center the annamaya kosh the pranamaya kosh the manamaya kosh so if you're if you're physically cracking off right you have some ailments you will not feel blissful if you're if you have problems with your chest or your pranic system or you know uh, the breathing you will not feel good you will not be blissful if you have lot of dislikes and fears and emotions and jealousy and everything you will not feel blissful if you're not using your intellect if you're not following your value system your conflict with your value system you will not feel blissful so to feel blissful you have to do all the things right my surrounding and that happiness is sitting inside which is chit anand mai kosh right you see it's very deeply defined that organic body right how anand mai kosh eat drink and be merry download movies upload family pics to facebook parties on the weakness we can that's pleasure at the pleasure level right pran mai kosh which is sports attends yoga workshop health the moment you hit the gym you feel good the moment you do yoga you feel good so because you are you know you are focusing on the prana maya kosha mana maya kosha which is like the mind sum help people participate in social activities the moment you help a poor person go out and help somebody you feel good right because you are working on that mana maya kosha vigyan maya kosha you know typically people those who are oriented to knowledge seeking like i'll read a lot i get a lot of kick out of reading that's how i'm working on my intellect system and finally on my kosh so when you start working on all these things you know you'll you'll hit that happiness of uh, happiness happiness kosha yeah so that is the way the structure is defined see so many muscles on the body right it has been gifted us for free but we don't go to the gym and exercise we don't take care of ourselves how will it sustain we have to our we have to have our right proteins but i'm not saying you know just build it too much you know i've seen a lot of people taking all the you know, extra doses of injections and everything don't do that just leave it natural eat natural food and work on it and you'll get to the natural shape that's it but do it right don't overdo it right yeah so our our eye has got 576 megapixels it's any day powerful than any 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 handphone you know our handphone will have 36 megapixels maybe 100 megapixel phone i don't know what our eye is 565 76 megapixels do we take care of eyes you know the stomach uh, the acid in the stomach can metal you know the burn the metal it is too i think too ph right there's a mucous membrane so don't destroy the mucous membrane else you'll ulcer so if you drink more you will destroy the mucous membrane yeah so that's how it is yeah okay so i'll just move from here so see this is you know when they said dashahara right the 10 head these are your 10 head the raman tattva and the ram tattva Right, Ravan Tattva. That's how it's defined. Right, Tattva, calm, desire, shift it with love, anger, very dangerous. One of the biggest destructive thing. All the energy channelized towards anger, shift it with compassion, lobe, greed, very dangerous. Shift it with kindness, attachment, love it, but don't get attached to it. The moment you get attached to it, you will feel a lot of pain. Shift it with affection, fear. fearlessness jealousy be happy about things right you will see as you grow through the life your siblings maybe do better or uh, either you can be a source of jealousy or somebody else can be so you don't be in that zone just love envy appreciation pride laughter arrogance friendliness ego awareness lead your life with awareness 100% awareness which is both right and all these all these feelings like see see how strong is is our mind right all these feelings are defined there is we know we don't realize it right because we live a life of lot of not uh, not very conscious about how how we feel the moment you become conscious about how you feel you will be, become conscious about how somebody else is feeling and your words your actions will change so you have to be very very observant of how that person is feeling from from the facial expression from everything else see how that person is feeling and be mindful of that and will become make you a better human being and better manager and better everything okay and that's our input output system so it's called the you know the organs of knowledge 
and then finally the actions of knowledge. So Jnana Indriya and the Karma Indriya. So you hear through your ears, we feel through our skin, we look through our eyes, we taste and then we smell, right? And then there's a layer of intellect, mind, emotion, ahankar, based on how the quality of all this thing is, we act. Our speech, holding, walking, procreation, excretion, right? For the same input, different people behave in a different manner because the quality of the intellect, the quality of the emotions, the quality of our sanskara. Sanskara is nothing but impressions that has been formed over years and years. And that's how we behave. So start, start being watchful. Be your own watchman as to how you talk or how you behave. No, no damage is done till you take an act or you talk. So be very, very mindful of the words you use, how you talk. Yeah, very, very mindful. Okay, so that's a way to you know settle your mind. That work not for your fruits. Work with absolute detachment, and then you will reach equanimity. And you have to keep working on this. And that's all defined in Sanskrit. You know, you have heard this, right? Karmanya vadi karaste ma phale shukadachana ma karma phale turu ma te sangochi karmani. Work not for your fruit. Just work. Just work with ultimate detachment, but with a focus, right? Have a goal in mind, but don't get too much attached to the goal. Goal guni ani ya dukhoga. Work selflessly. Work with a pure heart, you will get it someday. Absolutely. Okay. And uh, then coming to, so once you've done that, right, uh, the final answer we have, we will get is, who am I, right? Which is uh, defined in the Drik Disha Vivekam. So I will uh, tell you a story here. So what I will do is I will come back on the screen and I will try to speak to the audience, which is good. So let me know. Yeah, so um, uh, if folks can put on their cameras, if bandwidth is not an issue, I will I would really like to speak to you, you know, in you know, if everybody puts on the camera, please. Good. Super. Good. So, what is understanding of who am I? Each of us. Some thoughts? Any thoughts? Oh. Okay. Yeah, fine, fine. No issues, no issues. That's fine. So I, I mentioned you the Panchakosha, right? So what it's saying is um, it will kind of, um, you know, we start associating ourselves at the five levels, right? That am I the body? Am I the mind? Am I the intellect, right? But um, finally, you are none of it, right? You are called the fourth, correct? The Which is the Turiyam. And uh, the story goes something like this. Um, there was Raja Janak, right? Who, he was, he was, he was, uh, you know, um, he, he, that's a scene. So he, uh, he, he, the situation is right, you know, he is in a war field and he loses the battle. And once he loses the battle, uh, once he loses the battle, he is in a very frustrated mood, and he asks the king that, you know, what should I do? Uh, so the king says that you have to leave the kingdom and you have to leave all your positions. So he starts walking, and then he's feeling hungry, so he goes and stands in a queue, and then he is about to get his food, and you know, the food gets over, and then he is about to get some, wants to drink some water, uh, and the moment he is about to get that bowl of water, you know. Uh, a kite comes and you know just throws the tumbler and the water falls and he starts crying, right? So and then he suddenly you know realizes and he starts crying, right? And then he wakes up and then he realizes, oh it was a dream, right? But he was suffering in the dream. So he was a very, very intelligent man. And he starts asking the question that who am I? dream Right. That's a question he asks. So, um, and he stops all work. He says that till I get the answer that who am I? Because I was suffering even in the dream, right? I was, 
and and suddenly good it was a dream later i realized and now i'm the king and he realized that he'll never be the king always he is also going to die so who am i because you, you know we get attached to things right and when you get attached to thing when it's taken away when good health is there when good health is taken away we feel sorry right we have mental peace mental peace is taken away we feel sorry right so and if you are sorry it is not blissful then you are not that correct so what is it exactly so ashtavakra says that na wo sach jo tum sapna dekh rahe the na wo sach tha aur na jo tum abhi ho is jagah pe ho na ye sach hai right so fundamentally what it is talking about is we live our life on three states every day so one is the sleeping state the deep sleep state we stay then we are the sopna state which is the dreaming state and then there is one more final state uh, which is the jagrat state right which is the awake awakened state right you are none of these three states right you are neither you are sleeping but you are not that you are dreaming but you are not that you are jagrat uh, that you are awakened you are not that you are the fourth fourth means that you are you, you have to assume that like i the sashwat there is somebody sitting on the back sashwat who is watching this sashwat or speaking to you all right that is that sashwat so that detached perspective right and that detached awareness is guiding sashwato how he has to act and behave and talk at every point of time right it's a very very fundamental sh- shift that nobody else is watching me it is my witness which is watching me and that is the dharma right that is watching you what you are doing what you are talking every point of time it is noting down with the book you know that the sleeping sashwato did this the awakened sashwato did this the dreaming sashwato did this right it is watching you constantly and when you are aware that somebody is watching you you will always be correct so you are that so each of us here is that right we are 100% awareness we are the fourth we are not the dreamer uh, i'm sure you are not the dreamer i'm sure or khushbu you are not the you know sleeping khushbu or the you know you are the awakened khushbu so start thinking that way. and the life will evolve so yeah so i want it's it's a longish presentation but i i think i'll stop here i'll take more questions if people have and uh, you know when the college opens up i would like to come and you know uh, uh, address you all in person and maybe it will be helpful so i will pause here and if there are any questions i will try to answer them uh, yeah so i'll pause here thank you uh, we don't have any questions as of now sir okay so how would you like me to uh, take the rest of the session i can speak more about running um, i can speak about um, marathon running i can speak about any of the corporate uh, you know related questions or any career related questions if people had not related to this whatever you know whatever anybody wants or i can just continue with you know what i what i, what I showed or you know if 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 it's okay you know uh, if uh, it's okay you know we can uh, you know another 10 minutes and we can end session whatever you know i'm okay with that no issues so one of uh, one of us will has texted to speak more about corporate versus business corporate versus business uh, who is it uh, can you come online please lakshya pahuja sir yeah please lakshya There might be some network issues. He left the meeting. Okay, okay. He will come back. Yeah. No problem. We'll wait. Hi, Lakshay. How are you? Hello, sir. I'm back. I'm fine. Yes. Good, good. Tell me. So, like, I was actually wondering, like, what is your say about uh, the difference between the corporate world and the business level? I mean, being business an employee, and I mean, being an employee versus giving employment. Ah, okay, okay. Now, see, being an employer is always good. like if you are able to employ 10 people in your company right if you are able to generate wealth for yourself nothing like it right but it doesn't happen see uh, being be getting a job is the easiest because what you are at least assured of is at the end of the month you'll get a salary right but uh, you have a thought working on that thought making a product making a service making of it of value right and getting paid for it is a long long journey it is a long long journey it is not that people have not taken that journey up right there was there's a bill gates who dropped from college and uh, created microsoft there was michael dell who created you know uh, dell computers there is jeff bezos who created amazon 
so it is not that it is not happen but you have to have a very very powerful idea what is that idea it has to create value commercial value right we all bring value right i am i am also bringing value to you all but does it have a commercial value is questionable can i charge a lakh rupees for the session not really right does it bring value that you have to ask so a lot of good ideas fail because the start was good but it could not have been commercialized right so have a business plan and put a test you know put a small test prototype right? and see if it is generating value in at a small scale then you can seek funding right and have a very granular plan very 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 granular plan that i'm going to take this step and this step and this step and do it right uh, if you are uh, so if i'm not i'm not prescribing anything here uh, i'm not prescribing anything here say if i was in your shoes um, if if you if you may, if you may if you let me know what is that idea in your in your in your mind what is it that you want to uh, you know, what is it that your mind can tell me yeah, you can you know, we can discuss on that sure what is that in your mind the, <clears throat> my father actually runs a shop and uh, and it's my initial stage of the btech i mean i'm in, in sixth semester and he usually asks me what is your next plan why don't mm -hmm. you join me and uh, we can have a future together correct so, so i was like uh, yes. let me do and follow what i wanted to do he was like he have not restriction on me but he was saying that if we can uh, if you think that you another again you wanted to be an entrepreneur or you wanted to have a startup or you wanted to go in the business line then why don't you just join me mm -hmm. instead of wasting yeah. time both of you like i mean me and my father was saying that uh, you mm -hmm. will be working somewhere else i will be working here both will right. be working why just you come and join me we will be working together for us correct so this and, was and all I, in mind yeah yeah so what is the business he is in it's the base retail shop it's a hardware hardware, shop. hardware hardware shop right. 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 right so it can be two thing right either the the business of hardware appeals you right what is the what is the key driver that will drive you to take a decision is it making money is it becoming famous uh, what is it that is the key driver maybe the profit is more in the initial years when i'll be for example i am as a, as i'll be joining as a fresher uh, i am studying btech in computer science i i'm i'm interested in data analytics so let's say i get a job of junior data analytics in any of the organization i'll be just earning max to max 7 to 8 for at least initial years 3 years after that gradually jump will be there mm -hmm. So no, like but do you want to be data analytics guy? That's a question, or do you want to be a hardware guy? That's the first question. That it's a hard question. Yes, it's a hard question. So, yeah. see, the thing is, do you want to be a shopkeeper standing there in front managing customers? See, hardware is a that's a thing. See, if it's a hardware shop, you're selling a thing, right? Are you more excited meeting customers? and selling a thing and doing the right selling and growing the business or you want to be a back end person doing data analytics or you know sitting on front of the computer and doing data analytics and getting a salary for it a fixed salary see because a job will only give you a fixed salary job will only give you a fixed salary it is not it is an organization right there will be a there will be a position you will be tagged to a position based on your you know certain qualification certain value bring you will be given a certain because for a certain time you will be getting that value right you will not be paid like the ceo you have to manage that thing right and similarly when you are managing the shop right you will overnight not make it correct but the question that you have to ask is 20 years down the line do you see yourself as a corporate guy in data analytics leading a data analytics firm right because that journey is also a journey right that you first set up a you become art you learn the art of data analytics you learn digital technologies then once you've learned that art you say no papa i'll not own a hardware shop i want to have a data analytics firm and then you set up a data analytics firm and then you know you say you because at the end of the day you, you know you have to build a product or you have to service a product and you have to do that the question is what is close to your heart because 
if it is just initially initially yes a lot of people are driven with a lot of things initially if it is the you know the money factor that you get five six lakhs you're doing a job at the end of the month you're getting a salary fair it makes you happy good enough right but if you're really not interested in data analytics and after some point of time you are bahut jyada excel sheet hai bahut jyada analyze hai i'm not made for this you know then it's not going to go on. so please listen to your heart take your decisions from the heart but have a rational hat to it and then put 10000 hours behind it 10000 hour it's called the 10000 hour rule it's called the 10000 hour rule that aapko uske piche 10000 ghante lagane hain right kisi bhi cheez ke piche 10000 ghante lagane hain kisi bhi cheez ke piche michael phelps usne 10000 ghante swimming ki to best swimmer bana right sachin tendulkar ne utne ghante ki batting practice ki so he's called the god of cricket but they all ch- chose their passion that what they wanted to do that is your decision that is what your mind is saying your intellect is saying what you feel wow about that decision you have to take but you have to be accountable for each decision then how to deal with the society i mean huh <clears throat> sir how to deal with the society comments then people, so we know people say that you haven't done anything yet you are just you have just joined your father and to <laughs> to so, see that's where right so kya ho raha hai लेट मी एनालाइज दिचुएशन लेट मी एनालाइज राइट जैसे आपने मुझे बोला मैंने आपको बोल दिया यार लक्ष्य ये क्या कर रहा है राइट लेट्स एनालाइज क्या कर रहा है यार इतनी पढ़ाई करके हार्डवेयर शॉप के सामने बैठा हुआ है लोग ऐसे ही बोलते हैं ना क्या हुआ जब ये सिचुएशन जिसने बोली क्या हुआ वो जो आपका आई है आई आई द लक्ष्य करेक्ट उसने आपके फ्लैश को अटैक किया आपके बाहर हड्डी को अटैक किया नहीं किया ना अटैक उसने किसको अटैक किया उसने आपके मन को अटैक किया थोड़ा बहुत मन को अटैक किया दुख हुआ किस लिए दुख हुआ क्योंकि आपके ब्रीदिंग को तो अटैक नहीं किया ब्रीदिंग सिस्टम भी चल रही है आपके इंटेलेक्ट को भी उसने अटैक अड्डे को शायद चैलेंज किया किस लिए चैलेंज किया क्योंकि जो आपका अहंकार है वो हर्ट हुआ है वो आपके आपने जो अपना अपना एक पुतला बना रखा है ना कि लक्ष्य अपने को डेटा साइंटिस्ट की तरह देखता था और एक चाह थी डेटा साइंटिस्ट बनने की अब डैडी के करने के कारण मैं एक शॉप के सामने जाके बैठ गया राइट और किसी ने आके उस जगह पे छेड़ दी उस चीज को तो लक्ष्य अपने को क्या देखता है वो अपने को एक हार्डवेयर अमेजिंग हार्डवेयर सेलर देखता है अमेजिंग डेटा साइंटिस्ट देखता है दैट इज द क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू टेक क्योंकि वो कॉन्फ्लिक्ट आपके अंदर है लोग तो बोलेंगे लोगों का बोलना ही है अच्छा बोलेगा कोई बुरा बोलेगा वो वो तो कांस्टेंट इनपुट तो आता ही रहेगा वो आपके बिना बोले आएगा बट वो जो आपने एक पिलर बना रखी है अपने को आप जिस तरीके से देख रहे हो राइट अगर किसी ने आपको आपके डायरेक्शन में बोला तो आपको अच्छा लगा किसी ने उसके अगेंस्ट में बोला तो आपको दुख हुआ और वही आपको हर्ट हुआ तो आपको वो सोचना है कि मैं अपने को किस तरीके से देखता हूं डू आई सी माई सेल्फ एज ए डेटा एनलिस्ट do i see myself as a hardware guy hardware guy mein aap soch sakte ho na i will make the best and the biggest hardware chain in this in the in, in india can't that be a goal i will tie up with amazon and create the biggest hardware shop in this in this na amazon ne jaise pure you know is disrupt kar diya hai can't you disrupt hardware you will source your things then you will do backward integration you will do forward integration maybe you start you know building nuts and bolts yourself but the possibilities are immense और जिस दिन उतने पैसे कमा के आप मार्क लेके घूमोगे तब थोड़ी कोई पूछेगा रास्ते में हार्डवेयर चला रहे हो क्या चला रहे हो मैं तो मर्क चला रहा हूं पर मेहनत तो करनी पड़ेगी भैया चाहे डेटा एनालिस्ट लेके मर्क लो या हार्डवेयर बेच के मर्क खरीदो पर ये है स्ट्रगल तो रहेगी पर यह है डैडी के साथ चलोगे तो डैडी की विजडम भी रहेगी डैडी ने इतने जो धक्के खाए हैं वो धक्के तुम्हें एकदम प्यार से देके बता देंगे और तुम्हारी जिंदगी थोड़ी आसान हो जाएगी डेटा साइंटिस्ट है कोई अच्छा डेटा साइंटिस्ट मिलना चाहिए जो तुमको रास्ता बताएगी ऐसे अच्छे डेटा साइंटिस्ट बनते हैं बट यही है दिस इज द क्रॉस रोड यू हैव टू चूज बट यू आर अकाउंटेबल फॉर इट यू आर अकाउंटेबल फॉर इट सो इफ लेट्स से यू नो आई वाज नाउ आई बिकम क्लोज सो माय आंसर वुड बी एज यू विश यू नो जब आपने मुझे ये क्वेश्चन पूछा मैं बोलूंगा एज यू विश मैं कुछ नहीं बोलूंगा मैं ये नहीं बोलूंगा लक्ष्य कि तुम डेटा एनालिस्ट बनो या हडो मैं बोला एज यू विश तुम्हारी चॉइस है फिर बाद में अगर रिग्रेट मत करना कि मैं ये नहीं बन पाया सोचो इस चीज पर क्या बनना है और दिल से सोचना दिमाग से सोचना जरूर पर दिल से सोचना सो 
So did I answer your question, Lakshay? Hello? He might be facing some network issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, any other questions, please? So we have one last question. Uh, that is, what do you think that is? Is entrepreneurship a solution to poverty in developed economies? What's your take on this? Excellent, sir. Yes, sir. I have to take this call. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll just jump back. No, okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, so uh, please, please tell me again. Yeah, please tell me again. Hello? Yeah, yeah, please tell me again. Yes. Uh, I have to take this call, yeah. Just hold on, hold on. I have to just take this call. Yeah, sorry, I've been called. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, tell me. This is the last question. Uh, what do you think that is is entrepreneurship a solution to poverty in developed economies? What's your take on this? Entrepreneur is, uh, yeah, uh, best is to be an entrepreneur if you can be, but it is that journey is not easy. You can serve the society being or being without the entrepreneur. Any every service is good service. So if you do a good job, do a good job. If you want to be a good uh, you know teacher, be a good teacher. If you be, want to be a good, uh, you know, uh, doctor, be a good doctor. If you want to be a good manager, be every every service is good service. What is an entrepreneur? Entrepreneur is somebody who takes risk with his own money, with his own mind. You know, if you're successful, fantastic. But every journey is good as long as you do it with your heart and soul. Yeah, The question continued. Can it be a solution to poverty in developed economies? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, everybody started as an entrepreneur. Uh, Infosys, Narayan Murthy was an entrepreneur. Uh, to Jeff Bezos was an entrepreneur. But you have to create wealth and you have to distribute wealth. If you keep everything to yourself, then it is not. So you have to give back. Right, you have to give, big, give it back to your employees, to your shareholders, to everybody. And the moment you lift everybody up, you are helping the society and taking it out of poverty. Open schools, open colleges, like the whole BML Punjal University, you know, the whole BML group. And they, they, they created this university so that you know students can get, they can learn, right? And when they learn, they become better, better professionals and then they earn for themselves. So every approach is great, as long as you have the attitude to give. Uh, right. person has continued the question uh, saying, don't you believe in India it's difficult because of huge population and leaders already they created monopoly in market? No. So if you start with that mindset that there is no, there is nothing to win, then you'll never win. Still startups are happening. There was a Zomato which is there, there's a Swiggy which is there, there's all, a lot of digital companies, Happiest Minds came as a company. The idea has to be powerful. The idea has to have value. It is not the number of people. The population will keep growing. Number of people will keep growing. That is not the thing. The thing is, how good is the idea? Don't overwhelm yourself with, you know, that uh, there is nothing. There is always something. Just look on the hunt. What is a good idea? And it will happen. And you have to put your heart and soul and mind into it. That's it. What about the losses? What about the losses? Losses will happen. You you invest in the stock market. There will be some decisions which will be in favor of you. There will be some decisions that will not be in favor of you. You have to have your risk management in place. Stop losses. Losses will always be there. That's how you learn. 
Because if you're every time making right decisions, then you're gone. It's not going to happen. Experience will be the best teacher. So losses will happen. It will always be there. But you have to put your, your heart and mind and say how much I'm willing to take. It can't be a you know draining proposition. If an idea is just draining you, then just move move out of it. That's it. It's not a good idea. Just yeah, keep the ego you, out of it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Any question? No, sir. Good. Okay. Anything else? No, sir. Good. Alita, anything else? Uh, no, it's a very good and very insightful, actually. So, okay. uh, Kuzbu, you can do the closing notes so that we can close this meeting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you, sir, for taking out time from your business schedule and sharing your expertise with everyone. We have gained valuable insights uh, that will help us build ourselves. We hope it was a positive experience for you as well. Thank you. Absolutely. No, absolutely. I love interacting with students, and uh, I would really love uh, you know this interaction to be more face to face, and then it really helps more. Then we can you know put a name to the face. So look forward to this lockdown getting over, and you know we getting back to normal. But thanks again, Alita. Thanks, Kushbu, for moderating. This was really wonderful, and uh, wish you all a wonderful day, week, and a year. And I'm sure you all all do well. And I'm available on LinkedIn. So if anybody has any questions, any guidance, uh, we can always get on a quick call and I can help guide. No issues. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So I'll, yeah. So then I'll drop off, yeah? Yes. yes. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.